Dr. Sella here, and I get this question a lot. And I mean a real lot. How do you defend the triple option? That question I get all the time. And here's the answer I give to everybody. There are probably thousands of ways to run the triple option. What specifically are they trying to do with all 11 positions? And see, that's just the start of it. Because there's really three triple options. There's midline triple, inside veer, and good old fashioned, nobody's running 40 years, but high school coaches love it because they're familiar with it, outside veer. Now here's the thing that you have to understand. Just because they say they run triple option doesn't actually mean they run triple option. So don't be fooled by what they say. It's what they do with those 11 positions. Then the other thing is, you have to take a look at everything they run. Everything they run. So what are they running the most? What's second most? What's third most? What's fourth most? What's fifth most? That's what you're looking at. Because just because they say they're a triple option offense doesn't mean that triple option is their number one play. It might be their number five play. It might be their number eight play. They might not run at all and just say they run it. You got to see where it stands. Now, if you look at Air Force, it's somewhere between their first and their third play, but it's pretty close. Last year's zone dive was number one by 300%. Then it was trap, then it was mid-triple, then it was toss, then it was down. But all were within a one-play margin of error. So you see, not all triple option is the same. So when people ask, well, how do you stop the triple option? Well, first of all, is the triple option what they're actually running? And then the next thing you have to figure out, too, is... Out of what formations are they running their offense? Are they running it out of the spread formation, under center spread formation? Are they running it out of double flex? Are they running it out of what Paul Johnson called spread left, spread right? The wing tiers call it red and blue. So they have a tight end on one side. They have a, a wing, or I just say wing, tight slot and receiver on another side with a tight end and wing on, on the other side. Like, are they running out of the eye? Are they running it out of the split backs? Are they running out of the wishbone? Like, how are they doing it? So that question really, you can't answer unless you know these things. Now, if you want to give the general answer to how to stop the triple option, I've said this in other videos, it's pretty simple. You know, and I remember Rex Ryan said this. I was well, actually Mike Pett said this, but Rex Ryan told him to say this. I was at a coaching clinic in the oh gosh, it had to be around 2003, 2004. And Mike Pett, and a Pennsylvania guy who ended up becoming head coach of the Browns at one point, but he worked with Rex for years, basically said a dominant zero controls the game when it comes to the triple option and really toward defensive football. Dominant zero techniques control games because you can't run away from them. They're always on the play side. If they control the center, they are on the play side. So, the fastest way to stop it is to have a zero technique that controls the game. Stopping the triple option generally doesn't solve the problem unless the triple option is their number one play. When Paul Johnson ran triple option, it was between 15 and 20% of the time. Last year, Air Force ran triple option probably somewhere around 10% of the time. Maybe certain games was 15. Maybe certain games was around 20. Really wasn't more than that. Zone dive is what you have to stop. That's what you have to stop. The thing is, to answer the question, how do you defend the triple option? It all starts with, well, what are the top five plays of their offense? Are, and what 
and are they running each play four times a game? If they're not running a play four times a game, the play won't be statistically effective. So you got to figure out what are they running at least five times a game. Generally, there's about five concepts they run four times a game. And go from there. Where does the triple option rank? Because you'll tend to find out that they're probably going to run something else more than triple option, whether it's dive, toss, or something else. So it's never about stopping the triple option. It's about stopping their actual main thing. And then if triple option happens to be their main thing, which really it isn't anymore, it's not going to be with Air Force, because they use zone dive to set up the triple to get people to blunt stun. So basically, down to what it comes is, okay, if triple option happened to be the number one thing that they did, out of what formations are they running it? Are they running it out of the under center spread formation? Flex, red and blue, which Paul Johnson called spread left, spread right. Are they running it out of like I pro, split back pro? Because that definitely changes the way you would defend it. The most common answer I could give you if I don't know anything and somebody asked me the general question, it's line up with a zero technique, have the zero technique, put the center in the backfield, and generally you'll find it's just like playing chess. If you control the center of the board, you control the chess match. So there's your answer. Coaches. You want to win more games in 2023, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number is on the thumbnail of this video, so is my website, the Triple Option Football Academy. We'll show you how with the three-step clinic, over 100 hours of drill video, 50 plus hours of past installation clinics. I do a webinar with you and your staff. I'm on call 24 hours a day for all my clients. You're ready? You know what to do. See you later.